What's up, Tropical Tribe? And welcome to Vlog 9, Season 3, from the Tiny Tropical Garden. In this week's video, I'll be checking back with some of those evergreen shrubs that I started training into an unusual jungle form. I'll be planting some exotic lily bulbs. And I use the amazing weather we've been having and all this extra time to start tidying my boundary fences. It's a job that not all of us enjoy, but definitely one we appreciate when it's done. Of course, I'm talking about painting your boundary fences. When they're not done, the entire garden, no matter how nice your plants, can look scruffy and tired. But with a quick lick of paint or stain, your plants are set off against a beautiful background and it can bring the whole garden back to life again. And luckily for me, after quite a long time rummaging around in my very unorganized shed, I found some leftover paint from last year. Just enough, in fact, to tidy up each tired patch of my fence panels. And after a few hours painting manically in the morning sun, the leaf colour is standing out beautifully against this solid coloured background once again. Time to move on to the next job. I was kindly given these Asiatic lily bulbs by a next door neighbour of mine, and they're an exotic looking pink flowering variety. It was a real treat being given these lily bulbs because none of us can get to the garden centres to buy anything new at the moment. I'm planting them into this pot, and when they flower, they should brighten up this dark corner of the shed. Those of you who subscribe and are long-term members of the Tropical Tribe might remember me being inspired by Japanese gardening and having a go at training these laurel shrubs using wire to get an interesting jungly form. Well, a year has passed and as you can see, the wood has hardened around the wire. So it's definitely time for me to remove the training wires and see how it looks. In the coming weeks, I'll be putting up a full video focusing on training these evergreen shrubs into interesting shapes and forms. But here's a quick look at the results. The wood that was soft and bendy when I started training has hardened nicely and it's gone completely woody and it's holding this arch shape, which I think is gonna really add to that mature jungle vibe in the garden. And I've stripped away some of the lower leaves in the shrub to reveal the bends and twists in the stems. And as the shrub matures, I'm hoping this will look more and more interesting and gnarly like an old forest tree. It's now been three weeks since we took these streptocarpus leaf cuttings. And I thought I'd give you a quick update as you can see, not much has happened, but I'm being patient. I'm keeping them in their bag and I'm not letting them dry out. And hopefully in time, they'll root and we'll see little plantlets forming. On that note, it's time for me to share with the Tropical Tribe this week's Plant of the Week. This week's Plant of the Week is Akiba Kinata otherwise known as the chocolate vine. It's a spring flowering vine that is in full bloom at the moment with sweetly scented flowers and bright green foliage made up of five leaflets. Akiba kinata is a fast growing vigorous vine so make sure you plant it somewhere with plenty of space to grow. It's time for us to see another garden sent in from the Tropical Tribe. And this week's Tropical Tribe member is Mark, who sent in photos of his garden in Southampton in the UK. Mark has been kind enough to send us some before photos. And again, it's inspiring to see no matter what barren landscape you start with, you can achieve a lush tropical garden. 
Mark is growing this tall, golden-stemmed bamboo, which adds height as well as privacy in an urban garden. This low wall helps to divide the garden into sections and makes a smaller space feel much bigger. And he even uses marquees and gazebos to add outside rooms during the warm summer months. Mark is another tropical tribe member who loves to use ornaments to decorate his tropical garden. And the bright colours nestle so well against the green foliage of the plants. And some of the ornaments look so realistic I had to check twice. And I'm still not sure, is it real? And look how the feel of the garden changes as the sunlight fades and the garden comes into a whole new light. I think lighting a garden is so important to extend the time you can enjoy your outdoor space, especially when we get those warm summer evenings. Mark, you have done a fantastic job and thank you so much for sharing it with the Tropical Tribe. And the keen-eyed people amongst you will have noticed that the name of the channel, the Instagram account, and our website has changed to the Tropical Tribe. This community has grown much bigger than me and my own tiny tropical garden. I'm planning to put you, the Tropical Tribe members, into the spotlight even more, showcasing your hard work, your skill, and your creativity, and working together so that all of us can grow our own patch of paradise. And in time, I plan to film more garden tours, as well as interviews with professional growers of tropical and exotic plants. Thank you so much for being part of the Tiny Tropical Garden channel and watching it grow. I am extremely grateful and it has inspired me to do more. So now we are all parts of the Tropical Tribe. Welcome. <laughs>